Hey everyone, it's Laura from the blog at earlyhouse.com and today I'm gonna to be giving you my tips on cleaning, organizing, and keeping your kids' rooms minimal. This video is actually in collaborations with one of my friends here on YouTube. Her name is Shannon and she does similar videos to this. She is the go-to person for minimalist. So if you're trying to get a more minimalist home or you want some more tips on organizing, you're going to want to check out her channel. She's also doing a video today on cleaning and organizing her kids rooms. So I'm going to link her stuff down in my description box below. So after you watch this, you can go and get some more ideas and some like cleaning inspiration from her. All right, so today's video, we are tackling the kids' rooms, and I first wanted to start off and share with you guys some of my tips and hacks for keeping my kids' rooms clean. So I oftentimes get people saying, I don't know how you keep your house clean, I don't know how your house always just stays clean. And really my biggest tip is being minimal. So obviously the less stuff you have in your home, the easier it is to keep things put away. Now that works for me well with my things and out in like the main living area. But when it comes to my kids, sometimes they have things that I see as trash, but to them it's like really special and it's something that they want to have. And so I can't just take all of the things and like toss it out or really do the same thing that I would do for myself. And so I have some tips on how to do that. So first off, number one, I've done a whole entire video on my kids' minimalist clothes. And that is a huge thing. I feel like when you go into a child's room, a lot of time it is just like stuff full of so many clothing items and it's really hard for a child to keep things clean when there's too much of anything in the room. So if you have a child where their dressers are always a mess, um, their closet's always a mess, they always have clothes on their floor, most likely they just have too many clothing items in their room. So my tip and the thing that I do, um, like I said, I have a whole video on this, but my tip is to just have a few pieces of clothing items per season. So I recently switched out the clothes for my kids and we do just two to three um, play clothes per child and a couple of nicer outfits for church or if we have like a party or some nice event to go to. And other than that, it's pretty much all that we do. Now, now we're going into winter and so there are hats and gloves and coats and things like that. So my tip for that, again, keep it minimal. One pair of gloves, one hat, one coat is all you need per child. And then my other really, really big tip with kids is to have a system that works for them that they can help Help and keep things clean on their own. So make hooks down low for them, um, places where they can put things like baskets and bins for shoes and hats and gloves, um, dressers that are low. Again, like I know we, if you have really little kids, keeping them out of the dresser is important because they might be like unfolding things. But if you keep really minimal amount of clothes, it won't even matter if you have that down low. Then they can get out their own clothes, get themselves dressed, put away their own clothes on laundry day, and that makes them very much like self-sufficient. And then also, if they are helping to keep it clean, they're gonna be more likely to keep it clean because it's their responsibility and their job. And they also really love to help, especially those kids at young ages. They love helping and so if you give them jobs that they can actually do then they'll be more willing to help. I do the same thing for shoes that I do for clothes so in each one of my children's rooms I go in and I make sure they have one pair of tennis shoes, one pair of boots, for winter and one pair of dress shoes. That's all that they need. Um, several of my kids have multiple pairs of shoes that fit them that are tennis shoes, multiple pairs of dress shoes right now because I get a lot of things passed down to us. Um, I have people buying things or if I see something on sale and that's okay, I will get it and I'll keep it in the bin in the basement because I know I have more kids coming. I have four boys in a row and so I know if my first boy doesn't use it this year, I'll have another boy using it in a following year. So I'll 
I'll keep that stuff put away. Um, one, that keeps it nicer because if I have all of those clothes in there or shoes in there, they're going to wear them here and there. Um, they're gonna get messed up. They're probably gonna get lost, but if I keep them in a nice place in the basement, um, in a bin, in my storage room, then I'll be able to pull out a brand new or you know, new to them pair of shoes the next season for the next boy or daughter or whatever you guys have in your family. So that's another thing that I do. I keep my shoes and my clothes very, very minimal. Okay, now as far as toys go, um, again, minimal on this is key because if they have too many toys, they're not gonna be able to keep them clean or organized. But again, I don't want their rooms to be bare. My kids do have a bunch of toys. They have things that they love and things that they play with. And I think that's fine. Obviously, we want them to enjoy their rooms. We want them to be able to go in there and play and keep themselves entertained. So I'm good with them having some toys. I mean, I think maybe compared to some people, I'm minimal, but I do let them have several toys, things that they love, but my big, big thing on this is again just making it to where they can organize it themselves. And so we have bins down low, we have a basket for my daughter's room for baby dolls, I have a bin for stuffed animals, she has a bin for her purses, um, she has a section of a room for her American Girl doll stuff, and if everything kind of has a spot to go, then when she takes something out it's easier for her to know where to put it back if we actually have a place for each individual thing. Okay, another big thing in my house is crafts. My kids love tape, scissors, glue, paper. Um, my daughter has a sewing machine, so there's lots of fabric. There's lots of, um, oh, she knits and, not knits, crochets, she crochets. So there's, I don't do any of this stuff. This is all like new to me because it's like her thing, but she loves it. So she has a lot of yarn and crocheting needles. She has all of these things. And so in each one of my kids' rooms, they have like a desk type area. My daughter's is built in. That was just came with the house. That's awesome. Um, she has some like jars on her desk with places to put her buttons and her elastic and things for sewing. Um, and then in my son's room, he has a desk as well for his crayons and markers and his tapes and like all of this stuff. And I find that again, if they have a designated spot to put the craft stuff, it's easier for them to be able to put it away. My kids are really big on keeping just certain things that they love. So for an example, like ribbons or maybe a um, medal that they receive from a sporting event, um, a rock that they find outside. They love like collecting rocks, um, pine cones. They like that kind of stuff. I try to keep like naturey things outside and like to encourage them to be like, hey, you should put that like in the rock garden or outside like, by the garden or have a place outside. But a lot of times that kind of stuff comes inside. And to me, again, that's junk stuff, but they love it. And so a tip that I have and thing that I do is that if my kids start to kind of like pile up things, there's a lot of like extra things in the house that I don't really think that they need. One, I have like a memory box for them. Um, again, this is in our storage room. Each child has this for like the ribbon or the medal or special picture that they have that they made or got from someone or a card. But then I also will go in their room sometimes when they're not home and take out the things that I feel um, are kind of like junking up their room. Maybe they have 10 baby dolls and they really only need a few, or they have extra toys that maybe your child gets toys in like a Happy Meal McDonald's, or um, when you're at the Easter egg hunt, they have like random things, or I know like kids, like if we go to like a parade, I know they come home with junk sometimes where it's like, I don't want to take this from them because they really like it. So what I do is I have a basket in my laundry room that's up high in the shelf and I take things from their room that I feel like maybe they won't miss, they don't really play with, but if I said like, hey, I'm gonna take this and throw it away, they get mad. And I put it in that bin, I put it up in the laundry room and basically if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. If they don't ask for it back, I will eventually just get rid of it. If it's something that they're like, hey, I had this like squishy ball and I can't find it anywhere I'm like oh crap I have that I will go get it and be like here it is I have it for you but most of the time they do not ask for it back and so I use that trick probably about once a month I don't know if your kids do this but I feel like my kids are constantly just like collecting things out and about either when they're 
out with like a grandma or like I said, we go to like some type of parade or event, they get so much stuff. And if they have too much stuff in the room, I just cannot keep it clean. They can't keep it clean. They can't play with the things that they actually wanna play with because it's so cluttered. And so I use that trick and I really feel like it works well because once they don't ask for it for about a month or a couple weeks or something, just get rid of it and they never ask for it again. So that's one thing that you can do with your child is kind of a hoarder or holds on to things that you don't want to get rid of or they don't want to get rid of, just put it away in a spot where they can't see it. If they ask for it, give it back. If they don't, just get rid of it. Another thing that I do for my children um, is we talk a lot about donating. I take them with me when we drop things off at Goodwill. Um, they get to go in sometimes and pick out some new treasures and other times we just drop it off at the out, outside spot. But we talk a lot about other children and things that they might need. So if they have too many pairs of shoes, too many um, coats or long sleeve shirts or something, I'll talk about, hey, we could donate this even though it's something that you really like. There might be a child that doesn't have this and they will be happy to donate it because you kind of like talk to them about it and teach them the importance of giving to other people. And so I like to keep bins in my car. I've talked about this in another video as well, where we keep, um, it's actually two milk crates in my car. One milk crate is to give to other people in the family. Like if it's something that we borrow, we need to return. Or if we have something that the kids have outgrown, either a toy or even an outfit or something that can go to a cousin or a friend, I'll put it in that bin. And then something that we just want to get rid of and donate, we'll put in another bin. And so I'll tell the kids when they're in their room, like, hey, if you have anything in here that you want to donate or something that can go down to your little cousin, go put it out in the van. And they know about that. And they're oftentimes themselves being like, hey, this wasn't fitting me, I'm throwing it in the van. And I find that if they're involved in that process, they're more likely to do it. it kind of teaches them some good habits. And again, it helps to keep their room rooms minimal and organized because they don't have as much stuff in there. Another thing that I do for my kids rooms and to help keep them clean is I have a trash can in each one of their rooms. Um, they, like I said, are oftentimes doing crafts. They're cutting like little bitty pieces of paper. They're taping things. Um, my daughter's sewing. So there's always like scrap fabrics and things. And I find that if there's a trash can in there, they're more likely to put trash in it than if they have to like get up and walk out to the kitchen or a bathroom or something. So they each have a trash can in their room. They are in charge of emptying it when it gets full. And I find that it really helps to keep their rooms clean and organized now that that's right there in their room and they can use it right away. Just when you have a piece of trash, put it in there and it just really helps keep their rooms more clean. Okay, the last tip on my list is I just wrote down cute room. Okay, so if your child has a favorite, favorite color or character or something and they enjoy their room, I feel they're gonna be more likely to keep it clean, at least that's the case with my kids. So if you're a person that really likes to decorate yourself and you want their room to look a certain way, you can do things like letting them pick out the sheets on their bed or the pillowcase that's gonna go under the comforter or maybe a basket or some type of organizing thing that's gonna go inside of their closet. So maybe it's not something that's just right out in the open if you have a certain theme that you're going through for in your child's room. But if you let them be involved and pick out a couple of things, um, like I said, sheets or baskets or bins or something even that's gonna be hidden, they're gonna be more likely to keep their room put together and nice because it's something that they like and they are happy with the way their room looks, then they're gonna be more likely to want to keep it clean. All right, I hope these tips were helpful for you and that you got some cleaning inspiration. Maybe you can hop in your children's room after this video and do a few of the things that I did in my kids' room to help keep your kids' rooms clean and organized and very minimal. Like I said, be sure to check out my friend Shannon's channel. I have it linked down below in her video on cleaning and organizing her kids' room. I'm sure she has a lot of awesome tips to share. So I'm actually gonna go over and watch that video as well. All right, if you're new here, thank you so much for watching and please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every single week. All right guys, see you all in the next video.